Hello again our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our continuation on our topic on electricity and previously just to recap we looked at resistivity as well as uh, the area. So we looked at two formulas one for finding the resistivity and two for finding the area and we are saying resistivity in this case resistance which is our R is rho which is the resistivity times length which is uh, measured in meters divided by the area which is measured in meter squared. This formula is very important for you to do your calculations on the resistivity. And then the area, we say it sometimes they will want you to find the area of um, a particular conductor which is found by pi r squared or pi d squared over 4. Now if you haven't gotten this, I will encourage you to check the previous lesson. Now let us look at typical exam questions, something that you might expect in an exam concerning calculations involving the section on resistivity. Now the question here says you uh, calculate the resistance. So we've got to calculate the resistance of a copper conductor that has a cross-sectional area of 19,102 millimeters squared and a length of 1,5 kilometers. Take resistivity of copper, this is very important, as 0 0.0172 micro ohm meters. They are very, very key things in this question. It looks um, as simple as is, but you need to look at a few things that will enable you to be able to do the right calculations. First things first, you need to write the right formula. So we are saying from the formulas, resistance is resistivity, which is rho times L divided by the cross-sectional area, which is A. But now there are a few things that in as much as you can just apply the formula. For example, let me show you how tempting it will be for you to just uh, think that you can just find the formula. I mean the answer for you say is the resistance, which is the R, that's what you're calculating. The cross-sectional area, which is the A, the length there, which is the L, and then take the resistivity, which is our rho there. So you will think that the answer is R is equal to the rho which is 0, 0,0172 times the length which is in this case they say uh, the length was 1,5 and then you divide by the cross-sectional area which is 19,102 you will think that this is as simple as doing that but why is this wrong it is wrong because of the units Look at the measuring units. The area is in millimeter squared. The uh, length is in kilometers, as well as the uh, resistivity is in micro ohm meters. So you need to be very, very sensitive. Remember, we are saying the resistance is in ohms. The um, resistivity is in ohm meters. The length is in meters, and the area is in meters squared. So this makes the formula. Uh, or what you are given in this scenario to be a bit complicated because you need to do your conversions. So let us look at some unit conversions which you need not to struggle with but you need just to be careful whenever you are doing some conversions. The first part is let us look at a few things to say. You might be given micro, you might be given milli, you might be given centi, you might be given um, a kilo and you might be given mega these are the common ones i think that you'll find micro means you need to multiply by 10 to the power negative 6 always remember that if i say micro you take whatever you're given multiply by 10 to the power uh, negative 6 if you're giving milli you multiply that by 10 to the power negative 3 you see that milli means times 10 to the power negative 3 centi means multiply that by 10 to the power negative 2 Kilo means multiply that by 10 to the power 3. Mega means multiply that by 10 to the power 6. So what am I talking about? Let's make some examples here. It can be micrometers. It can be micrometers. As you can see, micrometers means multiply that meter by 10 to the power negative 6. It can be millimeters. It can be centimeters. It can be kilometers. It can be uh, megameters. Whenever you are given that, you just have to multiply by 10 to the power negative 3. You can change. You can be dealing with ohms. It can be micro ohms. 
it can be milli ohms it can be centi ohms it can be kilo ohms it can be mega ohms still it doesn't matter you still multiply by the same number so it doesn't matter whatever unit you have here this is the actual unit but the number or the unit or the abbreviation before micro milli centi kilo mega means do what you need to do by multiplying by 10 to the power negative 6 10 to the power negative 3 10 to the power negative 2 3 and 6 so let's make some practical uh, scenarios here let's look at the question again here to say what units did they use so that we can do our conversions so they are saying calculate the resistance of a copper conductor that is a cross-sectional area of there is the part 19,102 millimeter squared so we are saying the area we don't measure in millimeter squared but we measure in meters so let's come back to here and say we are given our area to say area is equal to 19,102 it's millimeter squared so this is what I'm given now I need to do my conversions the first part you have to identify is millimeter squared so we are dealing with millimeters but the square means they are twice remember so first of all let us say if we're working with milli we are in this area here to say this is our milli means we need to multiply by 10 to the power negative 3 so I'll take 19,102 now if they say a millimeter squared it means it's millimeters times another millimeters that's what it means it means there are two of them so now when I'm multiplying I will have this being 19,102 that's why I'm saying you do not need to cram this and then you say times we said for millimeters you multiply by 10 to the power negative 3 so you're going to say the first one here it's your 10 to the power negative 3 and the other one here is your 10 to the power negative 3 are you seeing that so you say times 10 to the power negative 3 times 10 to the power negative 3 you don't need to do uh, anything use your calculator straight away it will then be able to give you the answer with the right conversion so you will say 19 comma 102 and then you say times 10 to the power and negative 3 again you say times 10 to the power negative 3 i know some uh, students will prefer to say i need to know how many millimeters squared are there in a meter and then you cram those numbers but it's not necessary to cram you can simply apply that and it will give you the answer the way i've given which is 1,9102 times 10 to the power negative 5 1,9102 times 10 to the power negative 5 now it is in meters are you seeing that so that is the part there that you needed to check the second one is you are given length as 1,5 kilometers now kilo you said you multiply by 10 to the power 3 so you simply take 1,5 that is your length is equal to 1,5 kilometers which is equal to 1,5 times 10 to the power of 3 that's all that you need to do and then you use a calculator to do that it will give you 1,5 times 10 to the power of 3 it will give us 1,500 but now remember the units now is in meters so these are the things that are very important for you to uh, be able to understand now take the resistivity of copper to be 0 0,10172 micro there is the part micro or meter what is important is the micro that micro we are here again to say with micro you multiply by 10 to the power negative 6 so if I say 0 comma 0 172 uh, here to say 0 comma 0 172 and it says micrometers this is equal to 0 comma 0 172 you multiply that micro means 10 to the power negative 6 so it's times so it's times 10 to the power negative 6 it's a very small number now if you use the calculator there just to uh, see what it is going to give 
we have 0 0.0172 times 10 to the power uh, negative 6 it will give me 1.72 times 10 to the power negative 8 see that which is equal to 1.72 times 10 to the power negative 8 so this is what I'm having now I can input all these values in the formula to say I have my formula for resistivity remember R is equal to rho L means you multiply L you divide by A that's what it means so resistance is equal to my rho here is if I just check it is um, actually this was my rho here that I was calculating so it is 1,72 times um, 10 to the power negative 8 times the length which is 1,500 and then that I divide by the area which is 1,9102 times 10 to the power negative 5 I think that so your resistance at that stage you then have to rely definitely on the calculator to say it's 1,72 times 10 to the power negative 8 you multiply that by 1,500 then you divide that by 1,9102 times 10 to the power uh, negative 5 so when you have done that, it will give you now the resistance of that conductor, which is 1,35, uh, 1 to 3 decimal places. You can use a calculator to say shift, um, setup, and then 6 is your fix, then to 3 decimal places, which is 1,3551. So now remember the resistance is measured in ohms. So that is how you arrive at the answer whenever you are given questions like this. I'm going to provide more of these so that you can be able to be in a position to answer questions that involves calculations. Now join me again in the next section where I dive again more into these calculations so that you can get a more understanding. Thank you.